It's English time! Hello there! Welcome to our English class week 1. Our objective is to distinguish the difference between a simple and a compound sentence. Your learning tasks are let's try this and let's get started. To start with, let us have first a review on what is a sentence. Sentence consists of a subject and a predicate. If we combine the subject plus the predicate, we can have a sentence. Subject is the naming part. It tells who or what the sentence is. Let us have an example. Luke played soccer. In this sentence, the subject is look. Another example, the apple is red. In this sentence, the subject is the apple. Predicate is the telling part. It tells what someone or something is or does. The ball rolled down the hill. Here, the predicate is rolled down the hill. If we combine a subject and a predicate, we can have a sentence. Our lesson for today is distinguishing the difference between a simple and a compound sentence. Are you ready for today's lesson? But first, let us know what is a simple and a compound sentence? Simple sentence has one complete idea with a subject and a predicate. Example, a cat chased a mouse. In this sentence, a cat is the subject, while chased a mouse is the predicate. Simple sentence can also have two subjects and one predicate. Example, Ben and Mike are playing badminton. Ben and Mike are the two subjects, while are playing badminton is the one predicate. Simple sentence can also have one subject and two predicates. Example, Alden waters the plants and sweeps the yard. Here, Alden is the one subject, waters the plants, and sweeps the yard are the two predicates. In short, simple sentence has one complete idea with one subject and one predicate, or two subjects and one predicate, or one subject and two predicates. Meanwhile, compound sentence is composed of two simple sentences and it is connected by a comma and a conjunction. Examples of conjunctions are and, but, so, or because. Here is an example of a compound sentence. A cat chased a mouse, but the mouse ran into a hole. Herein, there are two simple sentences in which a cat is the subject and chased a mouse is the predicate. Another subject is the mouse and ran into a hole is the other predicate. These two simple sentences are connected by a comma and the conjunction but to make a compound sentence. A cat chased a mouse but the mouse ran into a hole. Another example of a compound sentence, we have here two simple sentences. 
and it is connected by the comma and the conjunction and. Remember that a compound sentence is composed of two simple sentences connected by a comma and a conjunction. Examples are and, but, or, because, and yet. This moment, we're going to do your learning task. Let's try this. Label each sentence as simple or compound on the blank. Number one, Kevin dribbles the ball. Is it a simple or a compound sentence? Write your answer on the blank. Number two, Patrick and Rafi went to the beach. Simple or compound? Write your answer on the blank. Number three, it is our duty to study hard. Simple or compound? Write your answer on the blank. Number four, it was getting dark and we weren't near the cabin yet. Is it a simple or a compound sentence? Write your answer on the blank. And for number five, you will join the trip but don't forget to call us up. Simple or compound? Write your answer on the blank. Yay! You're done with your learning task in Let's Try This. Now, let's have the Let's Get Started. Label each sentence as simple or compound. Number one, the pupils and the teachers will join the parade. Simple or compound. Number two, Please get my number and call me at home tonight. Simple or compound? Number three, Melody regularly waters her mango tree, so it will bear fruits. Number four, I prefer to drink juice than soft drinks. Simple or compound? And for number 5, Katrina took the bar examination, but she didn't pass. Congratulations! You are already done with your two learning tasks. Until next time!